It's a beautiful fall afternoon, and I'm out here with Betty Lou on a little road trip. Look at all the people waving at me. I'm so lucky that I'm in a one-car parade. Hi there. Hello. Hi there. Good to see you. Thanks for waving. Ah, the joys of driving a beautiful 1930 Model A. It runs so nice. Things are so beautiful here on a fall afternoon in East Tennessee. Oh, what was that? What? 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 What's going on? The, the, the car. It's, it's, it's shaking. It's, it's, it's sputtering. It, whoa, that was a backfire. Oh, what? There's, there's no place for me to pull off to the side of the road. What do I do? Oh, I, I've got to find a place. Quick, quick. Park the car. Oh, my goodness. Ah, what am I going to do? Uh, oh, not another triple-A call. Ugh. My wife is going to tell me to sell this car. It's a showdown between me and this Model A. This Model A doesn't have a chance. I'm going to win this fight. I guarantee it. I'm coming out on top. I don't need a tow truck. I don't need another friend coming to rescue me. I've got this. I have the tools. I have the red book. I have the knowledge. I know I can fix this. I have to. People are watching. I can't let them down. After all, I have the new t-shirt. And it says I can fix it so I can drive it. Hey friends, welcome to the channel. This has never happened to you before where you've had to pull off the side of the road because your trustworthy Ford, it just lets you down. Well, it's happened to me a time or two, more like a time or 20. But the reality is sometimes you just gotta get off the road quick and it's something electrical, maybe the points, maybe the condenser, maybe the timing. You don't know, but you got to get it back on the road quick because you're on the side of the road and you're away from home. And you don't feel like calling the AAA and getting hooked for the 20th time back home. And your wife just isn't really too happy about it your investment in your Model A and how poorly it's really running. Guys, I'm Ken Smith and I'm happy, one, to sport my new and improved t-shirts for our future videos. I fix it so I can drive it. I wanna give a special shout out to David at uh, MC Motorcycle Parts in Kansas for assisting us with a Rhodes dual wireless microphone setup. David, thank you so much. We're using it for the very first time. I'm very excited about it. This is all about trying to set your points and your timing while you're on the side of the road and you need to quickly get it running so that you can get to a safer location or maybe just getting it home. All right, friends, so remember we're on the side of the road. I need some tools that can quickly help me check timing. And so the first tool I want to talk about is this one right here. Now this is designed to easily get on that crankshaft nut and start turning just like you see right there. Now the reason why I like this versus the actual crank rod that comes with the Model A. Well, it's simple. I'm underneath the hood and I'm able to do all of this right here. 
Now I'm a big guy, I'm a 3XL Slim, so leaning over this massive front fender, trying to get on the outside, holding the crank and turning that crankshaft, well that's just a real pistol for me while I'm over here trying to hold this pin in place and checking timing. So this is the very first tool that I use to insert this pin, flip it around, turn it on top dead center. There's tons of videos out there. I don't need to show you that again, but this is tool number one that I use. And it is a lifesaver, let me tell you. Now the next tool I'm going to talk about is the A-12198 Quick Point Gap Setter. Now when we normally set time, uh, set the point gap, it's usually supposed to be at about 20 thousandths. But let's assume, okay, and again, just a, some quick assumptions here, let's just assume it's getting kind of dark outside, or it's really blistery cold, or it's raining, and we just want to make sure our points are set really fast, really quick. And so what we can do to check our point gap, we don't have to get this at top dead center. With this tool here, we can check the point gap at any given location. So it's a really fast, really quick way to just check the point gap. Now, I will, in the video, I'll show the uh, PDF instruction sheet that comes with it, and that's right here, right now. Now, you can go ahead and freeze frame that and read the full instructions, that's okay, but I just wanted to give you a chance to see it and they give instructions for both the standard point configuration, the original point configuration, as well as the instructions for the modern point plate, which is what I have installed. Now, the reason why I've got the modern point plates, I'll be honest with you, it's really simple. I travel, I go, I really like driving my car, and quite honestly, yes, I know that there can be some debate as to you know, the old points and the old condenser are just as good, if not better, than the new points, the new condenser. And there's people that will argue the other way around. I'm not here to debate any of that. I just know that I like setting up this a lot easier, and it's less for me to deal with. And it's what I've been familiar with for many, many years of setting point gap on more modern cars. And so, uh, as a side note, you can actually... If you're really, really good, you can set your points with a with a dwell and tack, an, anal, an old dwell and tack analog. And uh, if you set it at about 40 degrees dwell, you're pretty pretty spot on to that point gap. But again, that's just a that's a sidebar. So we take our tool, we follow the instructions. Tells you to pull this out and just kind of set that aside. That's what we're gonna do. Um, it really pretty much just slips on like so. And then we take our, uh, again, just following the instructions, but we take our, our tool and we should be able to very gently fit this right in. And it's really kind of ironic because believe it or not, I'm probably a little too tight and that probably needs to be adjusted. Hey, let me pull this off really quick just so that you can kind of see it right there. That's what it looks like inside the points. And again, this just fits right over. It's pretty much that easy. Uh, there is no, it's got to be at a right spot or anything like that. It just pretty much fits right over that camshaft. Again, just follow the instructions that come with this and uh, you should be just fine. You should be able to check the point gap. I almost forgot. I want to give you a little tech tip with this tool right here. Now this is super fragile and it doesn't really come with anything to protect it. And if you've got it sitting in your tool bag, I guarantee you, you're going to trash this out. So slip it right in one of those, put the locking cap on, 
If you want to, put some cotton in there to keep it from moving around. And now it's protected and you don't have to worry about it getting binged up. So there's a little tech tip for you right there. All right, now it's time for our third tool. If we've set the point gap, then we have effectively, effectively changed the timing. So once we've set the point gap, we now need to change the timing. And this is my tool of choice right here. Again, it's a quick, fast, easy way of doing it. This wrench is from New Rex. We go ahead and get to top dead center. We follow the instructions, which essentially is loosen this nut. We're going to spin it around clockwise twice. And then once we get it to clockwise twice, we get right to that spot. We stop, we tighten this screw down and we're at top dead center. Now I'll put a link in the description for new Rex as well as the YouTube video showing exactly how it's done. So there's no need for me to actually do it twice. The instructions are pretty self-explanatory. Even the instructions are actually right on the wrench. So you don't have to worry about losing instructions. Again, pretty simple, easy to use. No need for me to rehash old information, but I'll put the links down, like I said. And those are the three simple tools that I use. More than anything else, be blessed.